escape from the provincial concerns of earthly life. Travel with me on a journey of understanding to the outer reaches of the solar system. Past giant Jupiter and its moons. Through the rings of Saturn. Past every planet we could dig up in our database. Out to the land of extruded letters. The Mechanical Universe Part 1 is finished. These first 30 programs contain almost three hours of computer animation. I now have three minutes to teach you all of physics. Calculus is used to describe the motion of objects. The derivative measures the rate of change of a quantity. It is the limit of the slope of a chord as the two points get closer together, yielding the slope of the tangent. Symbolically, derivatives will be done by the derivative machine. It has built in the basic rules of differentiation. Inside the derivative machine, there is the pattern recognizer, the special case generator, the adder, the identity canceller, and the substitutor. Areas were first found by the ancient Greeks by their method of exhaustion. Kepler also used this technique to find the volumes of certain specific shapes, but neither the Greeks nor Kepler ever found a general method for an arbitrary curved surface. This required the invention of integral calculus. The first fundamental theorem of calculus says that the derivative of the integral is the original function. So, running the derivative machine backwards takes an integral. Now we can calculate the volumes of any shape. Derivatives and integrals are useful in physics to relate position, shown in green, velocity, shown in yellow, and acceleration, shown in red. This is because taking the derivative of something makes it redder. Now we are ready for the three basic conservation laws. First, conservation of momentum. Momentum is conserved because each body exerts an equal but opposite force on the other. This applies to any number of bodies. Conservation of energy was first hinted at by Galileo. Balls rolling from the same height, potential energy, end up at the same velocity, kinetic energy. The sum of the potential and kinetic energy is always the same, except for the energy that is converted to heat, which is the random motion of the molecules in the object. And third, angular momentum. If the twisting force, R cross F, is zero, its integral, the angular momentum, is conserved. The basic laws of mechanics are then used to illustrate such questions as Precession of gyroscopes, resonance, wave motion, and ultimately Kepler's law of conic sections and the equal area law. Finally, we show how these results can be used to navigate in space when the planetary alignments are correct and the time of day when the launch window opens. Oh, time's about up. But no JPL animation tape is complete without some gratuitous animation of the rings of Saturn. Here we follow the F-ring shepherding satellites as they keep the F-ring particles together in one thin line. Next year, watch for the Mechanical Universe Part 2. Electricity, magnetism, special relativity, and quantum mechanics. Well, maybe the year after next.